Hi, this is Tesla Today, where we talk about the latest news and exciting things Tesla is doing to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. If you have already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here, please click on the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share our videos. This really helps us thrive as a channel and continue making great videos for you every week. Today, we'll be talking about the new Tesla Gigafactory in the UK as revealed by Elon Musk. Operating and managing huge factories with many workers, including robots, is needed to run an automobile firm. Tesla stands unique in this aspect, and Musk is determined to change that, as he recently announced a new Tesla Gigafactory in the United Kingdom. In 1908, Henry Ford launched the Model T automobile. Based on his previous Model A design, which was initially produced in 1903, the Model T took five years to build. Its invention gave birth to the modern-day mass industrial assembly line. Ford's new design reduced the number of parts needed and the number of experienced fitters needed to complete the assembly process, giving him a considerable competitive advantage. If you ignore changes in design work, the employment of robots, and unique battery installation techniques, the process is essentially the same from Ford to Tesla. Designers utilize computer-aided design tools to make preliminary concept drawings that help them visualize the proposed vehicle's appearance. They next make clay models based on the simulation, which may be examined by style experts who know what the general public will prefer. Aerodynamic engineers also study the models, looking at airflow parameters and doing crash testing feasibility studies. After all, models have been evaluated and accepted. Tool designers are only allowed to begin building the tools that will generate the new model's component elements. Elon Musk has been railing about German bureaucracy, claiming that it is to blame for the Berlin Gigafactory's postponement. He recently turned down a substantial European award. Although the latter's reasons aren't wholly bureaucratic, they raise the question of whether Musk made the right option in locating Tesla's major European headquarters in Germany. After all, Germany wasn't the only option on the table. Last year, there were reports that Elon Musk was in talks with the UK government about constructing a gigafactory in Somerset. Because it had direct access to the EU market and more permissive labor restrictions, non-European automakers used to prefer the UK as a production destination. As a result, several Japanese companies, notably Toyota, are rumored to have built plants in the United Kingdom. The country was dubbed the Japanese aircraft carrier floating off the coast of Europe by Jacques Calvet, the CEO of PSA Group, the country's largest industrial business at the time. According to James Morris, these might be deployed soon, a technology expert and editor of Which EV. When asked if he was considering opening a shop in the United Kingdom, Mr. Musk answered, he's been contemplating it. The market in the United Kingdom is quite robust. Tesla sells a lot of automobiles, to be honest, and they now service that market by importing those cars from China. One of the reasons we were doing well for foreign investment in our automotive industry was because we were able to make automobiles here with less bureaucracy and easier labor regulations to cope with, he told Express.co.uk. In this country, unions are weaker than in Europe, which allows employers to change their rules more quickly. I also believe that governments in general, whether labor or conservative, are more prepared to do things for industry than some European countries, he continued. Officials in the United Kingdom have also taken independent action in this area. The plant's design has been submitted by Coventry City Council and Coventry Airport, working together as a joint venture. If built, the Coventry factory would be located at Coventry Airport and specialize in producing and recycling electric vehicle batteries. It will be totally powered by renewable energy and will cover an area of up to 5.7 million square feet. The project's proposals were made public for the first time in February 2021. Coventry is located in the West Midlands, an English district known for its long association with the automobile industry. Securing a gigafactory for the West Midlands is mission critical, both for the future of our region's automotive industry and the immense economic and job advantages it would bring, as well as the future of our planet, Andy Street, the mayor of the West Midlands stated. Low and zero emission transportation is seen as a crucial tool for large economies aiming to reduce their environmental impact and air pollution. The UK government, for example, plans to phase out new diesel and gasoline vehicles and vans by 2030, and by 2035, all new cars and vans must emit zero emissions. 
In other news, the European Commission, the EU's executive branch, has set a target of reducing CO2 emissions by half from cars and vans by 2035. Enough charging infrastructure and battery production capacity will be required to fulfill these goals. Securing a gigafactory for the West Midlands is mission vital, both for the future of our region's automotive sector and the immense economic and job advantages it would bring, as well as the future of our planet, Andy Street, the mayor of the West Midlands, continued. The country's largest car manufacturer, Europe's largest research center of its kind, the UK's only battery industrialization center, and a world-leading supply chain, are all located in the region. He went on to say that a gigafactory was the logical next step for the automotive heartland of the United Kingdom. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, if you want to see more about the innovations Tesla is putting in place to make the world a better place, please subscribe to the channel.